you aware that you will profit more from your private personal prayer than organized prayer? Hmm. Can we see? What is organized prayer? Organized prayer is a prayer with a goal, with a specific goal. What about if that goal does not fit your current life situation? You profit more from your best. Eh? Today, I prayed a prayer. Eh? It was a long prayer, but it was one of the most powerful prayers I prayed. Not in tongues. I was talking to God like I was talking to a man. And I realized that no, 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 there's something I've missing. I was telling God what was in my heart, not what, what was in my mind. I know that most of the times when we go and pray, we tell God what is in our mind. Huh? But not what is there. Some things are in your heart. You know this is there. But it's deep. you are afraid that if you draw it out and tell God, you will feel condemned. So you want to keep it there and draw from your mind. God, I need the shirt. God, I need the shoe. But there is something deep in your heart there that you can draw at God. This is, what, this is who I am today. But those prayers, we don't pray them. And that's why we are hollow and we are light. You profit more from your personal private prayer than organized prayers. The police is an organized unit, right? They have a prescribed form of uniform, right? So if you, if you are going into an enclave, an assembly or congregation of the police, you must dress like them, right? right? When you are dressed like that, eh, and you are in their midst, and you have dressed anyhow in your room, which of them is more comfortable? Which of them is more comfortable? Which of them is more convenient? Which of them is more is more helpful to you in the room? And won't we if it is this much? And we're standing in the scorching, scorching sun with no water. And these corrupt politicians are controlling the time. And we'll be there sweating. And they will be in air conditioning uh, terraces. You collapse. So I'm saying that you profit more from your private personal. No matter how disorganized they are, you gain more from that than organized prayers. Because that's where you can draw from your heart. You see, there, there, is, there is a prayer, meditation, activation in you, which your normal thought prayer can't produce. Are you aware that most of the Psalms David wrote, they came out of meditation along with God and was telling God about his life and the prayer came and he put them down. So if you read the Psalms, if you read the Psalms and then if you have a good Bible, before the, the, the first verse, they have some paragraphs and some phrases. A Psalm of David, David when he was in the cave of Adullam. Eh? 
a son of David when he was being chased by Saul. They are there. Who have seen that? They are not there for the creation. They are there to show you how the prayer was born. So these are private, personal prayers of a man in a situation. And he drew the prayer out of his heart. So it has become an eternal blueprint, an eternal uh, 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 pattern for those who are in a similar situation to also pray. The only organized prayer Christ prayed was in Mark, Matthew 6 verse 9. Our Father who art in heaven. That's the only organized prayer he prayed. The rest of them are his private personal prayers. Nobody heard about them. Awake. If what gave you strength was holiness, purity of life, but because of the proliferation of 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 pollution through the media and it has not caught up with you and you have lost a sense of sanity and sanity. Watch me. Go back! One day I, I took that man and said, go and buy a young phone and sell this your iPhone. It won't help you. You can stay focused with that. And the guy told I was just fooling about it. I was just telling him nonsense. Awake, uh huh. Awake, put on the hot strength. Oh, sigh unto the watch me unto the church. Find her place in strength. We can't execute our mandate. Praise God. Next phrase, put on thy that means. They were what? They were what? They were what? They were what? They were naked. Huh? They didn't Paul said, put on Christ. Put on the new man. Put off the old man. Huh? Put on Christ. The new man which is renewed after true holiness and what? And righteousness. So, what is the government they stand for? When did Adam said to God that we are naked? Huh? Oh, are you not minding me? When did Adam say we are naked? Huh? After they had disobeyed God, right? When they left the confines of divine governance, the confines of responsibility, and then they touched iniquity. Eh? And God came and said we are naked. It means that at that time, by their disobedience, they put off their beautiful garments. And they became what? Naked. Many of us have been naked for long. Sister, what that naked that chair? Brother, you have been naked for long. Put on that Thy what? Not garment. Thy what? Beautiful garment. Worship the Lord. Mm -hmm. In the in the of what? So holiness beautifies like a cloth. So it means that Jerusalem who put on the garment of holiness purity, the fear of God, sanctity separation unto God had now put off that life. Now I'll show you very soon. And has become naked. Now here comes the essence of the, the topic I gave you. The father's mind. Put on thy beautiful garment. Oh who? Jerusalem. Comma. What is there? Huh? I did the what? No, I'm coming. How can a holy city put off her beautiful garment? The holy city here, is it the holy city before he put off the garment? Or the holy city after he has put off the garment? Or the holy city 
Jesus in his true identity. Which is which? Which is which? Watch me. In the eyes of God. Though he has put off her beautiful garments. But God saw him in his mind as. Because that is. Oh, that is her true identity. Putting off the holy garment that don't change that identity. Putting off the, the blue garment is only a situation she found herself. Watch me. If I put off this my cloth, you can only tell me I'm a madman. But it won't change me from being a human being. So it means that, watch me, it means that though he has put off his beautiful garment by reason of putting off the life of holiness, yet God in his mind saw her as holy because that is her true identity. So if you have this mindset, Satan cannot condemn you and tell you that you cannot be holy again. No, that is your nature. Let me close. So the father's mind, watch me, the father's mind concerning Zion and Jerusalem is that you are holy. You are holy. Though your garment is off, your strength is off, but it does not redefine who you are. Therefore, awake, rise up and do something. Are you here? So the Lord was putting this in mind in him. In her sorry. That Zion, you are still a holy city. Yes, you have put off thy. You have put off thy strength. But it doesn't change who you are. Go back. Awake, go back. Awake, come to your senses. And let me show you why Zion became a holy. Why he she, she put off her holy garments? Why she put off her strength? Eh? There's power in association. There's power in association. He that walk with the wise shall be what? He that walk with the foolish shall be what? There is power in what? So, Pastor, do not forsake the assembly. Can say together. As the manner of psalmists, but exhorting one another. And so much, and so much, and so much, that means we have to meet on Monday. On Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, every day. Oh, this is the day the Lord has. So it means it is not for you. It's for who? Do you know why somebody didn't come tonight? Do you know why? They are watching Champions League. And all of them, they have my bet on their phone also. So they are watching and they are betting at the same time. Next week, I'll stand on the door. I'll take everybody's phone and I'll scan through your apps before you enter this room. Don't show me your test. But you're young for no hope. Young for no hope. Young for no hope. Sister, young for me, no planting a hope. So in the mind of God, in the Father's mind, Jerusalem is what? It's a holy city. Though he has put off her what? Beautiful garment. Sister, you are not a prostitute. You are a child of God. You, are, you have only fallen into prostitution. Watch me. If a meat falls into, into the ground and I take the meat and wash in the water, 
Does it turn into stone? What is it? It's too meat. Can I close now? Huh? Uh, please get me a church in London and transfer me from the Ghana church and start a new church in, in, in London. I want to go to that church and leave that, that, this one for this man. If your money fall into the ground and you pay the money and you, and you clean it, does it turn to paper? So even whilst the money is in the ground, in the dust, it is still what? Money. Though it has dust around it. Watch me. What do you mean? Let this mind be in you. But the devil has succeeded in convincing you that if a meat falls in the ground, it turns into a stone. It's no longer useful as a meat again. And you have believed in those lies. That is why we are weak. So many mighty men are still sleeping. They fell into something. They were trapped somewhere. But they don't have this mindset that a meat falling in the ground is still a meat. What you need is to take the meat up and watch it. And wash it. Now let me ask you a simple question. And it will judge all of you here. How many of you, you were eating a meat, a powerful meat fall down? You took the meat, wash it and ate it. Let me see your hands. I want to close the service now. Be on a feet, I've closed. Father's mind. The father's watch me. Watch me. Watch me. So now, what understanding do you have about God concerning you? Says awake. Huh? What we must do now is to awake. Because see, we are hearing a sound, right? We are hearing a sound. Some of you were doing certain things, God told you personally to do, and and you had so much joy in doing them because of an offense. You have stopped doing them, and because of the watching. The joy the thing brought into your life has also stopped. Haven't you read that the joy of the Lord is our strength? So by the cessation of that joy in your life, you are becoming weaker. Because you, the source of your strength is gone. Which is the joy of God? Which counts as a result of the thing he has told you to do, but you are not doing. Hmm? I came to put this understanding in in your mind you see the holy city the hot though he has put off her beautiful garment he has put off her strength but in the eyes of the father he made her a holy city and that's who she, that's who she is her present condition can't redefine who she is in the mind of the father the father's mind watch me may I prophesy to you your current situation does not def- does not redefine you in the mind of the Father. Whatever your current situation is now, it does not redefine you in the mind of the Father. What God is calling for you is to awake, is to come out of a slumber. Oh Jesus. Now the Lord showed, the Lord told Zion and Jerusalem the source of her problem. Watch it. For henceforth, there shall no more come into thee. The what? The uncircumcised and what? And the unclean. So it was his association with the uncircumcised and the unclean. That took away her strength. That took away her beautiful garment. So if they will no longer enter you, mean that now you have dealt with the source of the problem. 
so that you can rise up and become the person God made you to become. What is that uncircumcised and holy thing which has been coming to your life in and out? What has been patronizing you which is not in agreement with the mind of God concerning you today, they must cease from assessing your life. That is when you will begin to awake. Who can tell me the friends of Daniel in Babylon? Who can tell me their, their names? Shadrach, Meshach. Who were they? They were Jews. They were his countrymen. They have the same feet. They didn't have any Babylonian friend. No, sir. Why do we have Babylonians as friends? Why do we have the world as a friend? Don't you know that the friendship of the world is an enmity before God? Why have you not taken the word as our friend? And three things define the world. The last of the earth. The last of the flesh. The pride of life. Today, everybody wants to appear something somebody in the eyes of the world pride of life I am this I have this I have that Lord help us open your hands watch me I want you to draw the prayer I want you I want you to draw the prayer out of your heart not, not your mind what is it that you have been sleeping where have you been sleeping? Which area of your life are you slumbering? Look at your life. What were you doing that was giving you strength, that was giving you holiness, that you are still doing them? What kind of association have you entered into? Have you gone into? And by that association, you have lost your identity. You have lost your strength. You have lost your covering. What is that thing? Tonight, the Lord is calling us to awake. To come back to our senses. As you begin to scan your life, begin to pray. As you begin to check your heart, begin to pray. As you begin to identify them, begin to pray. As you begin to owe, oh, as you begin to do that, begin to pray. Ask the Lord. Open your mouth. As you begin to scan your heart to identify those things where you have been slumbering, where you have been sleeping, where you have gone off, you have put them off. As you begin to find them, see them, identify them in your life, open your mouth and ask the Lord, call him now. Tell him, ask him. Tell him, tell him, tell him, tell him, tell him, tell him, tell him. Oh Lord, tonight I'm awake, Lord. Anywhere I've been sleeping, slumbering, Lord. By your spirit, quicken me. Shele kata kapahata. Nima katili katasi kapayas. No, any part of my mandate I'll be sleeping. Any part of my work with you I'll be sleeping. Any part of my Christian life I'll be sleeping tonight by your Holy Spirit of God. I want to Lord, quicken me. It is the Spirit that quickens. Holy Ghost, quicken me. Shalakapalakata, 
Kele Makataya, Rakatai, Ikoko Shikele Kapaha, Ibi Katari, Lift up your voice in prayer, Kabaniata, and Kele Kapaha, Shake it, take 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 it
and show us mercy. Lord, tonight be merciful to us. Awake us from our slumber. Revive our private industry. The industry of prayer. The industry of studying the word. The industry of waiting upon you. The industry of aligning ourselves with you. The industry of pursuing the Lord. Tonight, revive this industry, Lord. By your spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. As we go home, Lord. Don't let this word fall to the ground. Let this word spark up a revival in our private lives. To set in other things which are in disarray. And to put things in perspective of eternity. That Lord, your will will be done and your name will be glorified in our lives. Thank you, Holy Father, for hearing our prayer tonight. In Jesus' name. Amen. Lift up your offering to God. We have a 14 day fasting coming next month. We want to set the date and then by next week we will let you know the date. We want to touch the throne of God in the middle of the year for fresh release and for fresh delivery from heaven. Hallelujah. Lift up your offerings. Father, we thank you for tonight. We pray that Lord, as we drop in this office, let the blessings of giving be manifested in our lives. Surprise us and bless us. Let your work progress in our lives. In Jesus' name, Amen. Let's start from the back up. We proceed to the right In the name of Jesus, say from tonight, by the oppression of the Holy Ghost, I am quickened, I am awakened in the name of Jesus. Say in the name of Jesus, any private industry in alignment with the will of God in my life that has collapsed. Tonight, Holy Ghost, revive them, revive them, revive them, revive them, revive them in the name of Jesus. Say, Holy Father, from tonight, set me on course to pursue you in my private world in the name of Jesus Christ. See, from tonight, I will put on my strength. And I'll put on my beautiful garments. By the help of the Holy Ghost. In doing what he has told me to do. In Jesus name. So help me God. Lord I bless them. May the hearing of this word. Be the turning point. In the private world. In the name of Jesus. May this word set their private word on fire. May this word set their private word in order. May this word set their private word in agreement with your will and word. Lord, any one of us here who lacks strength, who lacks the discipline, who lacks the willpower, the diligence to arise, tonight equip them with that. Equip them with that. In the name of Jesus Christ. And Lord, give us the assurance and the boldness 
and the confidence that our rising results in your glory in our shining thank you father in jesus mighty name amen god bless very much